So we're on Francis Slocum Lake here in Luzerne County. Uh, it's a reservoir and a lot of our reservoirs are, are a little bit older and most of the, the beneficial fish habitat like the stumps, some of the brush are no longer on the reservoir bottom. So there's very few areas for uh, fish to utilize cover. And so today we're putting in the porcupine cribs to add a habitat site here at Francis Slocum. Ready, set, go. These structures are made out of 50 uh, two by two by four foot long hemlock uh, lumber. We call them sticks. Um, they're rough cut. We like to put these structures out when this uh, when this lumber is actually green cut. So this lumber is probably cut in the last couple months. Um, it just holds up a little bit better. After we get this whole structure completed, we'll put this strapping around it and then it has a buckle on it. This is an 800 pound strapping. So if, in case uh, there's a drawdown or something happens to the structure, this is gonna hold it all in place and keep it all in one spot. All of our habitat projects are through the Cooperative Habitat Improvement Program, which is a partnership program. So today we're partnering with DCNR and the Nanny Coat Conservation Club. Fish and Boat Commission is providing the lumber. DCNR is providing the concrete block that we're using to sink the structures. And the Nanny Coat Conservation uh, Club is providing the, the manpower to build these structures. So what we're looking at as our, you know, our GPS and our depth finder here, this is all of Francis Slocum Lake and we can zoom in on our waypoint. So all of our structures today are going to waypoint 203 and this tells me exactly where I'm at on the lake. If I go into our depth finder here and I'm looking, you know, as a habitat manager, most of our reservoirs in Pennsylvania look like that. It's usually a mud, a flat mud bottom, uh, very little structure. And so that's why we do, you know, the crib projects and other structure types like we do. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. I'm a fly fisherman. I like to come out here and fly fish for bass. Most of the club members will fish for the walleye, uh, trout when it's stocked in the spring. But these structures help all the species in the uh, reproduction process. It's a place for the small fry to uh, feel safe until they grow old enough to leave that area, keep them away from the predators. So they're building these in a, in a few minutes or a couple hours here. How long will these last? Uh, the oldest structure that we have was placed in 1988 in Yellow Creek Lake. And if you go to that same site today, that structure is still there. Uh, that structure has been there um, since it was placed, uh, mainly because it's re remained underwater. Um, some of the structures that do uh, you know, get exposed to oxygen, uh, wave action, ice, uh, may only last 12 to 15 years. So what's the cost, say, the material that goes into just one of these? Uh, right around $100. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really cool if you actually see some of these structures underwater, you actually see these bluegills and panfish will actually go right in here to hide from the big bass or the, the pike that are living here or the muskie. So algae will start growing actually on some of these boards and once you have that algae, you'll have a lot of the macro vertebrates actually eating that algae and also eat some of that wood. And once you have all those macro invertebrates, what you'll have is you'll have a bunch of small fish eating that stuff, eating the macro vertebrates. And then once you have all those small fish are going to have those big fish coming in and trying to eat that. All of our sites are uh, recorded with latitude and longitude, so our anglers uh, can come back out here and hopefully reap the benefits. The end result of this entire project year after year has been increased happiness with the fishermen. They're catching more fish. Uh, they can actually find out the GPS coordinates for each one of these structures in the lake and fish over them in a boat or on the ice, and they're very happy with it.